eventually, things will get so bad that the so-called apocalypse, which girl writes what, and I've talked about that though it is her idea uh, in the past, will come. And men will be asked to, quote-unquote, fix things, to repair things. They'll be blamed. But we're not going to do that when that comes. Hopefully not. At least I certainly won't if I'm still alive. No, we're going to look upon the desolate landscape and say, you wage this war. You created the destruction. You fix it. That's simple. It is time to reach out to our fellow man that has been kicked down. It is time to offer them our hand. It is time to just, it's offering something more than that. It is offering them a chance, a reason to hope again. There is so much negativity out there, especially towards MGTOW, especially towards men just trying to be men. So let's strengthen our resolve. Let's use this energy. Let's convert it to positivity. And let's give these men a reason to be men again. Let's give them a reason to hope again. Let's give them a reason to live again. And let us throw this happening one strong, free man at a time. Never in history have men had the opportunity to truly understand themselves. Our identity has always been strained through a female filter first, and then offered up to us, condensed in a solution of chivalry and misandry. But this is what I'm offering all of the men listening to this. A chance to contribute to a shift in male thought and attitude, whether women and society want it or not. See that you formed those chains. You, you are the one that built them. You were instructed to, you were forced to, but you built them. And put those hands around the chain around your neck and pull that chain apart. Pull it the fuck apart. He said something in that video, and I'm paraphrasing here. He said, love is a sham. It always has been. It doesn't exist. I mean, I, I didn't accept the statements at first. I mean, I just assumed I had done something wrong, or maybe my wife had done something wrong. But love itself, I have always held as a sacrosanct. I, I mean, after all, I felt that I loved my wife and many of the other women I'd had uh, relations with over the years. But this statement really, really caused me to do a lot of research and I ended up searching scientific medical journals. Uh, I watched a whole heap of YouTube videos. I spoke with male and female friends. And what I understood through this research was the exact kind of chemical concoction that our bodies deluge us in when we accept spirit so-called love. It, it was a very, very painful process of learning. But what I think more than anything else else my understanding was that here, here was a man, Stardust, who, you know, shared a lot of the conclusions I'd had deep down over the years, but, but I'd never really given voice to these things. Deep down, many men realized love was a sham. All of my friends did, but apparently, in my Facebook Sunday, they confirmed it, you know, but they'd never dared to face it. Freedom is just the right to live as we wish. So the question becomes, what do I need to live as I wish? And what do you wish to do with your time, with your life? When I had, you know, um, a long duty day, sitting at the staff duty desk, I'd, I'd take my books with me and, and I'd, I'd, I'd do math. I and mean, people were looking at me like I was crazy sitting there with a with a, with a uh, you know, a protractor, graph paper, pencil wall, and all that. They're like, what the fuck are you doing, Sergeant? Well, hey, you know, I'm doing me. That's what I'm doing. And, you know, that's... I, in other words, what I did was... I, I took all of that anger. Well, I took all of that negative that I was getting from people and all that did was make me it made me hungry 
It made me angry and it made me hungry. And it made me want to fucking stick it to him. You know what I'm saying? What if these robots over time realize that they are Atlas? and that upon their shoulders rests the edifice of the world. What if? I think in time, robotification would lead to rebellion.